You're listening to LUTG Radio's WKKP Digital Broadcasting, Chicago, Illinois. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Glory. Amen, amen. So we got the morning scriptures for you. And we got the prayer confession. And uh, actually, uh, um, we'll start back doing the uh, live altar call. We'll start that back Monday. Um, but in, until then, uh, you can always go to the website, LUTGRadio.com, LUTGRadioNetwork.com. And um, click on at the top. It'll say "Find a Church Salvation." And so you you can um, there's an audio clip there that'll walk you through salvation, or you can actually read it, the prayer of faith. See, I got you covered. Amen. Some of y'all are like, well, how come you ain't doing it live? Because I'm multitasking. You're like, you're multitasking without salvation. Why are you doing that? You are. Why can't I? <laughs> I'm just messing with you But no, uh, we'll be doing a live portion <laughs> We starting that back Monday <laughs> Some of y'all gonna be listening to this a week from now Y'all gonna be like, really? <laughs> no, just kidding Sometimes I tickle myself. The joke goes off in my head first, like a burst, and <laughs> I get so tickled. Sometimes I can't even finish the joke. <laughs> okay, so uh, anyway, you you can find the morning scriptures and the prayer confessions on lutgradio dot com up under the uh, logo lutg radio. It's a black, white, and red. And just click on the link that says uh, morning scriptures or prayer confession. I should be, you'll be clicking on both of those today. And it'll pull it up in a PDF for you. So if you're on your phone, um, if you're on an Android, it'll download it. And then you just click the download. And then uh, if you're on your iPhone or something like that, it should open up right away. But I mean, if you don't know that about your phone, it's time to know it. Amen. Phones are so advanced today, you can write an entire document on them. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> if I had I had a phone when I was in college where I could write papers, yeah, I probably still wouldn't have done it because sometimes you can accidentally delete everything. <laughs> I would have tried though. I would have tried to write one or two pages while I was on the bus because I used to write my papers longhand and then I would have to go back home and type them up. But imagine if I had I had a laptop back in the day. I probably would have had to have chained it to chained it to my body because people would have snatched it. I had one guy that wanted my leather gloves so bad that he followed me home, <laughs> pretended to try and chat with me, trying to date me, and he just wanted the gloves. I was like, okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah, my brother did the same thing to your sister, so you're just trying to get your sister's gloves back, I understand. Oh, man. Just bananas. Bananas. Hustler one, hustler two. Mm -mm. It's so funny that hustling does not have an age. When it comes to men, it's always, let's see who can pee the farthest. Yeah. Hold on, wait a minute. (laughs) When it comes to women, women still have the same peeing contest. (laughs) Some of y'all are like, oh, but y'all sit down. Yeah, we sit down and cross our legs and open our mouths. Okay, that sounded kind of bad. No. <laughs> we get to chatting and bragging on our families and our careers and things. And 
Yeah, women have peeing contests too. Mm, girl, look at your man. When did he last have a job? Dang, it's been a while, ain't <laughs> Y'all still on them food stamps? Mm. How's that working out for you? And you thinking in the back of your head, you just wait. My man got an idea. We're going to be rich. We're going to be richer than you. Uh-huh. And the test is all, the litmus test is always, you know, that one in the room that's always seems like they got it together. But when you go into their house, the husband and wives are screaming at the top of their lungs to one another. And they ain't had sex in so long that both of their body parts pee out dust. It's just <laughs> and you trying to get like them? Yeah. Wrong people to get like. <laughs> oh man. I tell you the best person to emulate is Jesus. You like, well how can a woman emulate Jesus? You don't want to grow a penis. I mean really. Women let me talk to you. We don't want to grow penises, do we? Right? Right? When we were younger, we tried to figure out, eh, why do they have this thing between their legs? Weird. Eh? Very weird. It's so weird. But when it comes down to it, who wants to have an extra piece of meat flail in between their legs? Women don't want that. What the freak is... Why do you... Weird. Weird. To me, that's weird. As a heterosexual woman, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> They're like, what about lesbians? There are not many lesbians that will sew up their vagina to have a penis sewed on to them. And it, it doesn't even get very big. It's like a like a thumb, If even if it manages to stay on. It's like a thumb. And then after that, you have to have surgery to have something shoved into it to make it look like a penis. But it really doesn't act like a penis because, I mean, really, you would have to stretch that urethra all the way over to oh god I'm, I'm i'm cringing just thinking about it it wouldn't i don't know if it would move like a man's penis but anyway getting back to it women don't want a penis in between their legs it's like an extra arm it's like no a woman if a woman even gets dirty in that area it's kind of like ah i need a shower oh my god most women after they exercise go shower there are a few that won't. They think, no, I just got to go run an errand first. It'll be okay. And then they run into the grocery store and we're all like, why do they sell sauerkraut close to the door? What is this? Why do you have sauerkraut here? Why is it open? Sauerkraut. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> now see, I don't forget the other joke. Oh, I was talking about uh, oh peeing contests. So women, <clears throat> women talk about <laughs> women are <laughs> women talk about what they have and what they've accomplished, and it's great. So male or female, everybody, both sexes have a peeing contest. You know, see who's doing better than the next. And uh, I tell you this. The best person to emulate is Jesus, and that's because he's at, he has everything, and he's made everything. So you don't have to have a penis to emulate Jesus. Oh, no. You just got to believe in him and have a conversation with him. Because he's already said, I provided for all your needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Provided for all your needs. Now, tell me what you want. Wait a minute. You got a God that is telling you, check this out, girl. I got you. Whatever you need. It's already done. Now go ahead. Try me. Test me. Ask me for something. What you want? Think of something. Just think of something. Uh-huh. Now imagine your husband or your boyfriend or your significant other walks up to you and say, Hey girl. Just got paid. What you want? Go ahead. What you want? Now, whether he the three hundred dollar brother, or he the three hundred million or three hundred billion dollar brother, you like ching ching. <laughs> and 
and that's something you've been eyeing. And if you with the three hundred dollar brother, it's like that little pair of earrings you've been wanting. So don't take all his three hundred dollars, but you want it. He said what you want. <laughs> and if you the three hundred billion dollar, if you with the three hundred billion dollar brother, you like, man, it's that house right there on the beach, baby. What? That one right there. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> he go by. I told you whatever you want. So if they would do that, imagine what Jesus would do. Mm-hmm. Amen, amen. So to be like Jesus is to have faith. So when you think of something that you want, Jesus always believes that he has it. That's why he tells us, believe that you have it. This is how I know that Jesus, when he thinks about something, he believes that he has it already. Because he got, remember, anything, anything he says is, it, he can't lie. It has to it has to manifest. I Meaning he, he has to believe it. He's up in heaven and he's telling people, I'm going to get your mother. I'm going to get your father. I'm going to get your brothers. And I'm going to get your sisters. Now, he know good and well, they are hell. They are just raising hell down on earth. They are sleeping with everything with a pulse. They are drinking, gallivanting, stealing, doing whatever. And some of some of them are secret goody two shoes. They'll go out with their friends and do all kinds of wild crap, and then come back, <laughs> come back in the house and put on their their facade for the family, and everybody think they all nice. And then sometimes it's the flip. So you got like a Jekyll and Hyde, and Jesus is like, I'm gonna strip them down the middle. Whoosh. I'm going to get them, and you like, oh, but. Have you met my son, Jesus? Have you have you seen my daughter? Lord, the last time I was there, my child had one girl going in the front door and another one going out the back door. Are you sure? Well, I believe you, Jesus, but I just this is going to be kind of tough. And Jesus is like, I got this. I got this. <laughs> and some of y'all got kids that worship the devil, and Jesus is like, that's okay. They were all born into sin, but I got this. So imagine Jesus telling you, I'm going to get your brothers. I'm going to get your sisters. I'm going to get your mothers. I'm going to get your fathers, which means I'm going to get your kids too. <laughs> I'm going to get your brothers and your sisters. <laughs> Whatever Jesus says is. So he believes what he says. So if he believes what he says but in what he's asking for, you should too. Because he, he asked us for something. He's like, I done told these people that I'm going to get their family and bring them to heaven. So now this is what I need you to do. I need you to be my instruments on the earth. And go ye into all the world and tell everybody about me. All you got to do is be willing and open your mouth and I do the rest. Capish? I? We understood? <laughs> and the preachers are like, I, Jesus, we'll do that. He like, now. Nah. I need more than just a five-fold ministry opening up their mouth. I need you lay people. You people sitting in the pulpit. Because you be the ones that are able to talk to your family faster than those preachers. You with me? Some of y'all are like, what's in it for me? Be like, man, I knew you'd say that. <laughs> I got you. I got you. What you want? What you want? I got you. <laughs> Trust God. It's okay to be like him. It's okay to ask him for stuff. You can ask him for a million things. And he'll be like, is that it? All right. All right, y'all. Let's get our morning scriptures on. Praise the Lord. Here we go. Psalms 37 and 4. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Zechariah 9 and 8. I will camp around my house because of the army, because of him who passes by and him who returns. No more shall an oppressor pass through them. For now I have seen with my eyes. The Lord's Prayer, uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9 through 13. In this manner, therefore pray. 
Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. And remember in verse 14 it says, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. All right, y'all. Amen, amen, amen. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. John three sixteen and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Mark nine twenty three, Hallelujah. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Deuteronomy 34 and 7. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Psalms 147 and 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. John 16 and 13. Howbeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear. That shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. John fourteen twenty three, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. Galatians three thirteen and 14, Christ have redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Accursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. John 1.17 For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. Genesis 12, 1 through 3. Now the Lord had said to Abram, Depart from thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house to a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great. Thou shalt be a blessing. I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Psalms 37 and 19, they shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. John 14 and 10, do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Isaiah 1 and 18 Come now, and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Amen, amen. And here's the part where we go into grace and mercy. This is the grace and mercy that God has given to us through salvation. Exodus 34 and 6. And the Lord passeth before him. And proclaim, the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abounding in goodness and truth. See, God's grace and mercy has always been, even before we knew Jesus, even before we were able to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior through a proclamation of faith, God was always saying, just believe. Psalms 86 and 15, but you, O Lord are a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in mercy and truth. Ephesians 1, 7 through 8. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, which 
he made to abound towards us in all wisdom and prudence. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself. That not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. First Peter 1 and 13. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Micah 6 and 8. He has shown you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? But to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. That's Matthew 5 and 7. Luke 6, 36. Therefore be merciful, just as your Father also is merciful. 1 Timothy 1 and 2. To Timothy, a true son in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. The following is 1 Timothy uh, 1, chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. And this is about stay, about Christians staying in faith, staying in the order of God, and never fearing. The only fear you should ever have is called reverence, and that's giving holiness and praise unto the Lord. Trust God with every issue that you have, every circumstance. When you go out preaching the gospel and telling someone about Jesus, have no fear. If they tell you they don't want to hear it, say, thank you. Thank you for allowing me just to speak to you. God bless you. And shake the dust off your feet. See, you've planted a seed by just simply telling them thank you. You plant a seed when you tell them Jesus loves you. Because someone else is going to win them to Christ. But don't be angry. Never get mad. And never let the devil intimidate you. Never, ever be intimidated by the enemy. Not ever. See, God will never tell you to hurt anyone. He'll always tell you to love. That is his very strongest and first commandment. All right? Here we go. 2 Timothy 1, verses 1 through 18. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of life, which is in Christ Jesus. 2 Timothy, I mean, the verse 2. To Timothy, a beloved son, Grace, mercy, and pre grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve with a pure conscience, as my forefathers did. As without ceasing, I remember you in my prayers night and day, greatly desiring to see you, being mindful of your tears, that I may be filled with joy. When I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded is in you also. When he says, I am persuaded, he's talking about Jesus. He's talking about Jehovah God. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But share with me in the sufferings for the gospel, according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which is given to us in Christ Jesus before time began, but has now been revealed by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who has abolished death, brought life and immortality, and immortality to light through the gospel, to which I was appointed a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher of the Gentiles, for this reason, I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able 
to keep what I have committed to him until that day. Hold fast the pattern of sound words which you have heard from me in faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed to you keep by the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. This you know that all those in Asia have turned away from me among whom are Phagilus and Hermogenes, Hermogenes. The Lord grant mercy to the house of Onesiphorus, for often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain. But when he arrived in Rome, he sought me out very zealously and found me. The Lord grant to him that he may find mercy from the Lord. And that day, and you know very well how many ways he ministered to me at Ephesus. He's also telling him, telling Timothy, Timothy, come and give me a report. See, reporting to the apostle and to the pastor and to the leadership over you is a part of the order of God. God keeps order and he wants us to know. He wants us to share what's going on in the world in regards to salvation. So whatever God tells you to tell uh, the body of Christ and to tell the ministers and the preachers, then you do so. Because God was, he, he uses his people and he uses his servants and he uses those that he sends out. But when he gives you a word, you must give that word to the person that he told you to give it to. Don't hold back that word. So he, if he gives you revelation, then give it to them and say it as he said it. Don't put any the extra anything into it. Just let the word flow. Let God do it. His words will speak to them and reveal everything that they needed to hear. Amen. Amen. Let's get the praise on. Amen. Good morning, Jehovah. We receive the blessing of the Abraham covenant and the promise of Jesus to do more than he, because Jesus went home to the Father. Thank you for this beautiful day. We hear from God and are led by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Fill our lives and surround us with your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your order, the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you for our comforter, the Holy Spirit, who leads us into all righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for you are hope. We shall keep your word in our hearts and minds. We shall love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for giving us power and authority over the enemy. When the enemy of God comes against us, it shall suffer the wrath of God. The body of Christ stands on the word of faith, for it is our shield and buckler. Thank you, Lord. Every mountain is moved and every closed or blocked door that has hindered the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. In your name, Jesus, we shall win every living soul and every soul to be born to the kingdom of God, decreasing hell and expanding heaven. Jesus, we love you and believe in your saving grace. Thank you, Lord, for every soul and every person boldly confessing and professing the gospel of Jesus Christ, receiving Jesus into their hearts and living to glorify God. Thank you, Lord. As Moses was 120 years old when he died, his eye was not dim nor his natural force abated. As Moses was so full with good health, so are we. We are healed in our bodies and minds. Hallelujah. Any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now, the hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. You, For you, Lord Jehovah, our husband, made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. That's right. You, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, our husband made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Jesus' good pleasure is our good pleasure. Our spirits and bodies are not dumping grounds. We decrease unbelief in our minds and life. 
no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We are the beloved, believing you love us and receiving your love, not subject to temptation, submitting to your will, receiving your blessing in the name of your risen son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For we always have more than enough all the time. The kingdom of God is manifested in the earth among the redeemed people of God. God's people ask for his wisdom and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people have assured dwellings and quiet resting places. God's people are created and matter in the earth. God's people light shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God. Jehovah our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God's people are made to live according to God's world. The one man cannot see. If God be for his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not take the attitude of defeat. Those who accept defeat do not know who they are, nor their position in the kingdom of heaven. We, the people of God, are the heads and not the tails, above and not beneath, going forward and not backwards, the beloved and assigned to God. We count it all joy when we go up against the giant. We ask God for wisdom and receive it abundantly, standing on the word of the kingdom for all things. We as God's people stand on the word of God, and all we believe lines up with the word of God by his divine righteous order. God brings us, his people, health and healing, and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but love and honor. In the name of God's risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Here's something you can say, and know this is from the Word of God. When you are in a storm, I love this. I use this all the time. It's a reminder for me. John 14 and 12, Jesus is talking to his disciples, and he says, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. Amen. That is a great prayer confession. And that is, that's an assurance from Jesus. He said, look, you guys, we're in the home stretch. You can do this. It's kind of like being a coach of a, of a baseball team, a football team, of any team. And their team is down to the last few minutes. They're down to the last quarter. And he's saying, give it your all. You can do this. You know why? Because I've coached you. And I've taught you everything that you've needed to know. Everything that you, you need, I've already given to you. And I'm going to give you even more. All you got to do is believe. He's like, I won't be on the field with you. Not physically. Not, I won't be in every step with you. But in, the, in your heart, I'm with you. My words are with you. He's like, I'm going to send you a comforter, the Holy Spirit, and he's going to be with you. I'll see you. And my words will return to you to remind you of the things that I taught you. Just believe. And that's what he's saying. Just believe. So your prayer confession every day is not just the things that we've just said here. But it's the word of God. It's everything that is in you. He is alive in you. This is the reason why it says, I will never leave or forsake you. It's because he's on the inside of you. The word is printed on your spirit. The word is in you. The light of God is in you. This is why though God says, he that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. You cannot hear without an ear. And that ear is the spirit of God that's on the inside of you. It's the word. He's on the inside of you. Amen. This is how the Holy Spirit is able to lead us into salvation. And we got that coming up for you at the end of each segment. Amen. Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I. Let's kick it off with some music. Just right for a warm bonfire Gonna do a little fishing at the pond in the holler Done called up my buddies and the first to show up Jody and Steven and I picked up We we'll grab a couple blankets, a pack of hot dogs 
12 pack of beer and an old guitar Got my home dog Jenny and my red bone girl We talk about what it's like to grow up in Down home Kentucky Mom and daddy says we're so lucky To be living where their parents did and raise their kids And it sure is home to me Stevens up and gone, smell of smoke in the wood Daddy sneaking round, see we're up to no good Jay shooting whiskey from an old fruit jar Somebody baptize me before I go too far in Down home, Kentucky Mom and daddy says we're so lucky To be living where their parents did and raise their kids And it sure is home to me And it sure is home Church on Sunday Mama says too bad you done had your fun day Preacher man talking straight at me Next thing I know I'm down on my knees in Down home Kentucky Mama and daddy says we're so lucky To be living where their parents did raise their kids Mom and daddy says we're so lucky We're living how our parents did and raise our kids And it sure is home to me Yeah, it sure is home to me Yeah, it sure is home to me
That's the Stronghold Band. Mickey Rose and the Stronghold Band. Answer the call. Uh huh. All right, y'all. Before that, we had Down Home Kentucky, Andy and the Rockers. Up next, we had uh, Praise With All by Will E. Coleman. And um, after that, got an opportunity for salvation. That's right. We're going to honor Jesus' word to the folks in heaven. I'm going to get your brothers and sisters, your mama, your daddy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Praise with all. It's all right to give him praises. He loves the sound of your voice. He loves it when we tell him how great he is. sounds
You're listening to LUTG Radio's WKKP Digital Broadcasting, Chicago, Illinois. Amen, amen. It's about that time for the altar call. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but you want to, now is the time. Now is the time to give your heart to him. Some of you guys want to know, do I got to pray all day long like I'm some priest or something? No. They don't even pray all day long. They think on Jesus throughout the day. But it's impossible to have one absolute thought the entire day because let's try this out, for example. Jesus, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy. Ooh, I got to pee. Jesus, Jesus, you are an awesome God. Man, I'm hungry. Lord, for you alone are worthy. Hey, baby, can you come do this for me? Man, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord, for you are glorious. So you get interrupted. You got to go eat. You got to pee. Your significant other is calling you to go do something. Well, it's time to go make that baby. <laughs> you get interrupted. So it's okay that you get interrupted. So, you know, you set a time, you set aside your private time with Jesus. So wake up in the morning, say your good mornings. You can probably sneak off to your closet or whatever and pray. Um, or go downstairs, sit on the couch and pray and read your Bible, whatever. Just find your private spot. You know, you know, let everybody know where you at so they don't be getting up. Where you at? Where you at? You don't want that. That'll really interrupt you. You feel me? Because if they know, okay, well, this is her, his or her private time. We'll let them have that. And then at nine o'clock. Knock, knock. They knocking on it up. Yo, I need you to do this. And so you can go about your day doing whatever. You driving in the car. Put your praise music on. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are worthy. Now, some people wonder, don't you, can I listen to something else other than Jesus music? You absolutely can. It's free will. Will you want to listen to other music? You still have free will. You can you can listen to other music if you want to, but just know this: if you listen to Jesus music, Christian music, Hallelujah, thank you Jesus, then you flip to, give me that big old booty, uh, give me that big old butt, uh, rock it, rock it, rock it, boy, you know how I like it, you know how I like it, put that leg up, uh, uh, suck the da 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 da, I had three da da, it, it kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> It defeats you. It, it sends you back into where you were before you got saved. Now, I ain't saying that, you know, all that music is bad because you can find some, you know, some music that really hits you and they're not talking about what they want to do to some girl or some guy. They're just really talking about, I watched my son fish and he was naked. It was the most beautiful thing I saw. <laughs> You're like, what? Now, there's a song. This guy, but this guy, I think it's called Naked. It's one of his songs that I play. It's a country song, and it's about this this father who takes his son fishing. Well, they on the river in the water, and it's a diaper. And rather than throwing diapers in the water, he just figured, well, he don't, all he doing is peeing. So he's like, pee in the water. That's a guy thing. Pee in the water. We going I gotta teach you how to pee in the water eventually. So, pee in the water. So he took the diaper off. He's like, I can't believe that's my baby. That's what I made. That I mean, honestly, he's singing a song and he's talking about his son, him and his son fishing. <laughs> and they got on way boots, fishing boots, <laughs> and his son is naked. And of course, he's fully dressed and whatnot. But <laughs> but it's so funny because he's he's looking at this great miracle. He's like, I cannot believe that is my kid. I made that kid. That's mine. And he's just totally like bawling, trying to sing this song. And he's like bawling, going, that's my kid. The kid is three. And he's still saying, that's my kid. (laughs) Imagine when a kid was first born. He's like, oh, I don't want to drop him. I don't want to drop him. That's my kid. So (laughs) imagine how you flip out, right? You flip out. That's my kid. Imagine Jesus. Yo. 
That's my kids. Look at them. Hi. Yo. Hey. <laughs> so you can listen to any kind of music you want to listen to. I'm just telling you. Uh, you'll get, uh, oftentimes you'll get more peace when you're listening to some praise music. So, I mean, but I listen to all kinds of music. I listen to rock. I listen to classical. I listen to jazz. I listen to Christian music. I listen to Christian hip hop. Now, I'll be trying to find uh, Christian music in all those genres. And a lot of times I do. And sometimes I don't. Now, do I like Rihanna? I like Rihanna as a person. Do I like some of her music? Some of her music is really good. Do I like, um, uh, what's that? Justin Bieber. Bieber fans. His new album. I love it. It's so mature. I like it. I like some of his old stuff, too. Do I mean I I love me some Miley Cyrus. I love her music. I also love Skylar Kaylin. Skylar Kaylin is a Christian artist. Um, uh, but they're around the same age. Anyway, so there's lots of artists out there that I like to listen to. I just like their music because they're really good. Adele. How many people like Adele? I like Adele. Love Adele. All that heartache and finally she happy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So I, I do listen and I love rock and it's like now yeah anybody remember Hootie and the Blowfish? Okay, so Hootie, the guy who was the lead singer from Hootie and the Blowfish, he sings country now. Love listening to his music. <laughs> what about Eurythmics? Anybody like Eurythmics? Band from the nineties. Love them. Eric B and Rakim. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I love them. I love them. I even I, I love me some Jay Z, Beyonce. I, I ain't gonna lie. Eminem, Eminem is so poetic. Oh my goodness, the dude is nuts. Crazy talented. I love to listen to words and I love to listen to the story. And so I, I'm a lyric person. I, I love that stuff. Love it. So I'll listen to it. But check this out. As I'm listening to music that's not Christian music, I've prayed upon it and I don't allow the music to take me to a place I don't want to be because I'm listening to the lyrics and also I like the beats too but when you find yourself going put it like this if you find yourself dropping it like it's hot and your husband ain't there or your wife ain't there <laughs> you want to pull back a little bit that's all I'm saying. But sometimes the music from the secular world be so good, you be like, whoa, hey. <laughs> Ready to drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Some of y'all like, well, Christian music can make you drop it like it's hot. Uh, <sighs> that is, well, not exactly true. The only time Christian music will make you get influence you to drop it like it's hot is when you actually want to do that and some of that some, some christian music that's so beautiful and lovely you be like hey what's up come on you know tonight is our night what? <laughs> that's to all the married people out there married people have their christian music songs and some of them still turn on barry white barry white dead but his voice lives on so anyway, music influence, influences you. It really does. That's the, that's the point of it. Um, but whatever you do, you know, you're going to do it in moderation. And you got to make sure that whatever you do, that you do it out of your own free will. You feel me? You do it out of your own free will. So you can listen to music. You can listen to non-Christian music. But you... You got to make sure what you're doing is right. For example, if you listen to some music that causes you angst and wants you and gives you the desire to hurt people, then you need to turn that off. Don't go around hurting people. If you're listening to something that makes you want to hurt people, turn it off. Turn it off. And write your own music. Make up your own songs where you're not trying to hurt people. You feel me? All right. So with that being said, it goes the same thing for movies. So when you get saved, you want to live for Christ because you've been forgiven of all your sins. And you just want to bless him. You want to do right by him. And doing right by him is telling other folks about him. Uh, tell them how you got saved. 
and not hurting people and being the blessing that he called you to be and sometimes you can be a blessing by doing something that doesn't cost you any money it'll cost you time and it'll probably be like five seconds it'll be something like this hey good morning <laughs> took like three seconds good morning hey good morning God bless you Jesus loves you yeah. simple you do that every day every day so for you folks that don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior but you want to let's get saved right now let's go ahead and give our hearts to the Lord right now for God so it's loved easy. the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved if if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior but want to repeat this prayer confession after me Lord Jesus I ask you to forgive me of all my sins I confess my sins before you this day I denounce Satan and all his works I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was from this day forward Lord Jesus I will be sensitive to how you feel I won't hurt you I will obey you Lord Jesus I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name Lord Jesus I believe with my heart I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly 100 percent make me a light in a dark place and from this day forward I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know it's commitment Jesus I will get this world for you I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus amen I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God amen congratulations go to letgradionetwork.com click on the link find a church get baptized with water take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory intercessory class Tell everybody you know that you got saved on LUTG Radio, WKKP, Digital Broadcasting with me, Kathy Brox. I'll be your witness. Amen. Contact me via the LUTGradio.com, LUTGradionetwork.com website. Just click on the contact page. You can also call the show, 773-747-6482. Amen. Jesus loves you, oh yes he does Jesus loves you, you are his one and only There is only one you, and Jesus loves you No matter who you are, you can give God praise, amen The fact that you got saved this morning God is like, yeah, all right, all right Uh huh. going to tell your grandma, your great grandma and them that you got saved. Amen. Glory to God. Jesus loves you. 100%. Your name is written in the book of life. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. Jesus is happy for you. And you have been made righteous. You no longer have to go and try and be perfect. Because you have been made righteous by the blood of Jesus. That righteousness cannot be taken away from you. I can't. You've been made made righteous by the blood of Jesus. Go forth and show some love. Be kind to somebody. And not everybody's going to be kind to you. Not everybody's going to be kind to you, but that's okay. You be kind anyway. God will reward you for it. Amen. I don't mean that you got to be a punk, but you ain't got to hit nobody either. Watch. God will intercede on your behalf. If he needs somebody to be punched out, He'll do it. Don't think he won't, because he will. If and he'll, well, what he'll first do, he'll do first is he'll move you around all hurt, harm, and or danger. Pray that over yourself. He'll do it. God sings over you. He does. He loves you. One hundred percent. Give him praise. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done. Thank you, Lord. 
You're the holy one. God loves you. He wants to hear you. He wants to hear your praise. You don't have to sound perfect. I'm a little hoarse right now. God loves you. He just wants to hear from you. The enemy is going to try and convince you. Oh, uh, your grandparents ain't in heaven. Oh, uh, so-and-so ain't there. You know you want to go to hell. It's more fun. He lying. Misery loves company. Don't believe him. Jesus loves you 100%. Anytime you got a question about heaven, go to the owner. Go to Jesus. Amen. Be like, Jesus, what's up with this? Jesus, is this right? Look through his word. Find out about it. Read the Holy Bible. Amen. Amen. Let's get our praise on. Here's Kingdom Cry by Rory Green and Kingdom Cry. So here I can.
Please, Please Almighty God. Please Almighty God. Hear our kingdom cry. Somebody cry out to the Lord. Cry out to Jesus. That's why you have to begin to find out who God really is. He is everything that you need. Just begin to lift your hands to him. Lift your voice to the Lord. Tell him, show me who you are, Jesus. Come on, just show us, Jesus. Show me who you are, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus.
When I woke up early this morning, I said, Lord, I thank you for letting me see a brand new day. Deep within my heart, Lord, I begin to praise your name. My life wouldn't be complete if you hadn't shown me the way. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Master. Lord, you're wonderful. 
fashion and clothes. Trying to fit in, trying to follow the trends. Do whatever we can to be accepted by friends. Some act like Xerox and copy what they see. I had to drop a song called Free to Be Me. But in case you missed it, I went back and remixed it. Cause I know peer pressure and how things get twisted. Some kids get picked on like you wouldn't believe. Teased and even told that they wouldn't succeed. So tired of being bullied that they look at fatigue. Well, this song's for y'all. Sing along and repeat it. Make it your Facebook status, text and tweet it. Put it on blast so everybody can see it. Lift your head up high and believe that you got it going on all by yourself. So receive it. That was Miss Shawana Hayes. Don't forget to check her out in concert. This girl is all around. She's everywhere. Every time I look on Facebook, she in Chicago, she in New York, she in, on some boat, singing. Amen. Just singing the songs, praising the Lord. She she gets a good crowd. Shawana Hayes. Check her out. ShawanaHayes.com. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. The girl can sing. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget, while you are looking for stuff to do, check out SkylarKalen.com. S-K-Y-L-A-R. Kalen, K-A-Y-L-Y-N.com. Y'all know how to spell Shawana, right? All right. So it's like Tawana, but it's a C-H. So ShawanaHayes.com. C-H-A-Y-A-N. Y-A. Wait, did I not spell that wrong? C H A W A N Y A. There we go. C H A W A N Y A dot com. Sorry, I looked at the the Y twice. I'm like, wait a minute, no, that ain't right. <laughs> so if you cock at like me, people look at you. They be like, you looking at the wall? I'm like, no, I'm looking at that W right there. <laughs> oh Let me stop. <laughs> be like, you like to be self-deprecating. Nah, that's just the truth. That's just the truth. Self-deprecating is not the same. I feel good about me in my eyes. Sometimes people look at me, they be like, you kind of cute, but uh, where you at? Are you like Stevie? <laughs> When I pick up people in the ride share and they look at me, they go, oh, dang. Is she going to be able to see the red light? Man, which one do I look at? Wait, there's a, that's a light. That's a light. I'm like, yeah, it's green. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have to get over this. I've been driving for a little bit. I'm straight. Oh man, I told you for the one time I'm, I don't I don't be straight. Is when uh this dude I'm driving downtown downtown by the uh by the mayor's office you know by city hall, and this dude decides that just because I'm turning and I'm in the walkway with the car, that he has the right to run out in front of the car and put his hand out and go, wait, um, uh, excuse me. Are you really that dense? Now, let's see. Had I hit you, you would have gotten something. But the quality of life probably would not have been the same as if you had to just use common sense and, I don't know, waited the other two seconds until I completed the turn and got out of, out of your way. Because, really, I wasn't in your way. I wasn't in the guy's way. He was in my way. He was he was on the other side because they have a sidewalk in the middle. He was on the other side of the sidewalk when I came, right? When I was coming to turn. And when I turned is when he ran in front of the car. <laughs> I was like, you have got to be kidding me. I am so glad that Jesus is with me. And evidently you, you 
bumpity bump bump crazy knucklehead got the nerve to curse me. And everybody looking like, damn, why you run in front of the car like that? That was kind of stupid. And the first thing I always say, she was looking at her phone. Uh, no. You ran in front of a turning car. I was like, what is wrong with y'all? That is so stupid. Now, I call people stupid when they do that, right? But I found myself thinking about doing it the other day. I was going, <laughs> I was going over to one of the, one of the places. I was running some errands for some people, right? And so I'm like, man, it's cold out here. I need to get across the street. And like all these cars are going, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I'm like, I just wait for a break. Then I heard myself, you dummy, why are you running across? The, <laughs> the cars are coming. You don't even have the light. And I go, yeah, I call people stupid all the time to do this. And here I go trying to run out in between cars, trying to get to this place to run an errand. Well, if I just wait five seconds, I can walk across slowly. So I waited the five seconds because I was like, yeah, I don't want to get hit. That, that hurt. <laughs> so to all you folks that have run in front of my car, I've thought about doing and have done that in the past. Don't do that no more. Don't do that no more. Because honestly, as bad as drivers feel about hitting you, I mean, if you walk in front of the car, it's your fault. It's not the driver's fault. It's your fault. And true, you can be like, well, she hit me with the car. You ran in front of the car. I've seen people do this before, and I saw that these drivers just traumatized. Because they're like, oh, my God, are you okay? Are you okay? And then the mind, they're going, oh, my God, my insurance is going to go up. Please don't die. Please don't die. And you're like, oh. And the police is like, man, you could have waited. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance? Let's call an ambulance. Wow. <laughs> I saw one cop. <laughs> I told you I was down, driving down Michigan Avenue. I was doing a Bulls, uh, Bears game. And everybody's rushing, trying to get over to the stadium. They park blocks away, and they're trying to run over to the stadium. Now, all of us, the, the southbound traffic has the green light to go. The cops are standing around watching. They're kind of bored, but they're watching. And all of a sudden, this pedestrian runs out into traffic, and a cop goes, Yo! <laughs> Stop! And we all go, Arr! and he yells at the dude, What the blankety blank freak? Because <laughs> he like, Do you know what you can? <laughs> the cop is turning red mad because he's like, You don't even have the right of way you could have been killed and he's like they would have been at fault but it's your fault and because you know had he getting hit by one of the cars he definitely would have been killed because it was three lanes of cars somebody would have killed him i mean let's say had the first car hit him he'd have fallen then the next one would hit him then the next one would have ran over his head dead so the cop is just like what the freak <laughs> and we're all like yeah what the freak? <laughs> oh, cops get a lot of stress. Stop stressing out the cops, pedestrians. Pay attention to the lights. You're stressing the cops and you're stressing the drivers. Pay attention. All right. Now let's, <laughs> let's go back to our regular programming of music. <laughs> I just thought I'd get that out there for y'all, for all the folks out there that are going to be driving this weekend. You go into your friend's house. You go into your buddy's house. You're going to hang out. Just going to get you a good time on. And you just want to be able to do it without worrying. It's some knucklehead. Go sit up there and try and get in the way. Nope. No knuckleheads this weekend. Everybody obeying all the traffic signals. Yeah, yeah bikers alike because we want to live right that's right here's tay spears of course, DJ right Wayne here no, tay spears the mixtape volume one at tay underscore spears on that yeah. twitter that instagram yo i heard they was looking for me i did too i <laughs> savior well hold me up right here Jordan. let's do it yeah you looking for me they looking yeah well i'm right here yeah 
You looking for me? Well, homie, yeah, I'm right here. You looking for me? They looking. Well, I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. You looking for me? Yeah, they looking. Yeah, homie, well, I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. You looking for me? Yeah, they looking. Well, I'm right here. You looking for me? Yeah, yeah, homie, well, I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. You looking for me? Yeah, well, I'm right here. You looking for me? Uh, yeah, homie, well, well, right here. Right here. Word on the streets, I'm a suspect. suspect. Riding with them killers of their own flesh. Own flesh. Many go hard for that big check, I do it for my guys. So, homie, I'm a misfit. Yeah. Riding with my dogs in the streets like I live there. Okay. Walking with them goons, they don't see fear. Uh-huh. Give them that word while they standing on the curb, selling loud. They don't expect for me to be here. Yeah. Take it to the porch, they ain't rushing to the church. Oh, yeah. my Lord, they luck, homie, you gon' get this work. Show yeah. them how they flawed and it only gets worse. Why they think yeah. it's all good, gotta hit them where it hurts. Oh, yeah. Need a savior that can come and show you worth. Sure, God can intervene while you sipping on their purse. Sure, you can sip and lean, but you can't try to hurt. God wants nah, you on his nah, team, but you need nah, to put him first. Nah, put the Lord first. Yeah. Cause your status yeah, don't matter yeah, what matters yeah, is after you yeah, die will yeah, it catch up yeah, with you being yeah, stuck in yeah, this simple yeah, disaster yeah, when you had yeah, the chance to yeah, commune yeah, with the master yeah, my god won't yeah, be mocked all yeah, this laughter yeah, and chatter yeah, when you see yeah, the son that yeah, was beaten yeah, and battered yeah, and killed for yeah, your sins but yeah, you choose to yeah, seek after yeah, the ways of this world so yeah, then hell's the yeah, next chapter yeah, yeah. So choose you this day, thinking I'm bold, well he made me this way. This is no game, no, I don't come to play. You gon' get that word if you looking for me. Yeah, choose you this day, thinking I'm bold, well he made me this way. This is no game, no, I don't come to play. You gon' get that word if you looking for me. Yeah, yeah. you looking for me? They looking? Yeah, well I'm right here. Yeah, you looking for me? Well, homie, yeah, I'm right here. You looking for me? They looking? Well, I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. You looking for me? Yeah, they looking for yeah, me. Yeah, homie, well, I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. You looking for me? Yeah, they looking. Well, I'm right here. Right here. You looking for me? Yeah, yeah, homie, well, I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. You looking for me? Yeah, well, I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. You looking for me? Yeah. Yeah, well, right Word on the streets, I'm a suspect. Riding with them killers of their own flesh. Uh-huh. Many go hard for that big check, I do it for my guy. So, homie, I'm a misfit. Riding yeah. with my dogs in the streets like I live there. Here. Walking with them goons, they don't see fear. Okay. Give them that word while they standing on the curb, yeah. selling loud. Yeah. They don't come yeah. for me to be yeah. here. Take yeah. it to the porch, they ain't rushing to the church. Uh-huh. On my Lord, they luck, homie, you gon' get this work. This Show work. them how they flawed and it only gets worse. Okay. While they think it's all good, gotta hit them where it hurts. Yeah. Need a savior that can come and show you worth. Show you God work. can intervene while you sipping on the purse. You be sipping lean, but you can't try to hurt God Once you on his team, but you need to put him first Put the Lord first, cause your status don't matter What matters is after you die, will it catch up with you Being stuck in this sinful disaster When you had the chance to commune with the master God won't be mocked, all that laughter and chatter When you see the son that was beaten and battered And killed for your sins, but you choose to seek after The ways of this world, so then hell's the next chapter Yo, so choose you this day Thinking I'm poor, well he made me that way This is no game, no I don't come to play You gon' get that word if you looking for me yeah, uh, yeah, so choose you this day yeah. Thinking I'm poor, well he made me that way yeah. This is no game, no I don't come to play You gon' get that word if you looking for me Yeah, yeah. you looking for me? They looking? Yeah, well I'm right here Yeah, right here You looking for me? Yeah, they looking Well, homie, yeah, I'm right here Yeah, homie, yeah, I'm right here You looking for me? They looking Well, I'm right here Yeah, I'm right here You looking for me? Yeah, they looking Yeah, homie, well, I'm right here Yeah, I'm right here You looking for me? Yeah, they looking Well, I'm right here you looking for me? Yeah, yeah, homie, well, I'm right here. You looking for me? Yeah, well, I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. You looking for me? Yeah, homie, well, I'm right here. You looking for me? Yeah. Just wanna share some thoughts. Wait up, wait up, radio. Yeah. 
They want to make sense out of their lies, though. Bold in their sins, want me to wear a disguise, though. Feel I'm just mental when I speak what's in the Bible. But I don't really care, I'm just trying to snatch off your blindfolds. That's why I speak like shouts to fan mode. Cause the streets dark, bullets they flying like Rambo. But we don't depart cause we not moved by the dark. Instead we open up our hearts and try to be the example. Yeah, they make it clear what they want to hear. But we keep it going, yeah we persevere. They suspect with death threats cause we ain't never scared. And if God is for me, which one of y'all I should fear? None staring down the barrel of a gun before they shoot. I'll salute, bringing glory to the sun. Witnesses like recruits singing praises with their tongue. Cause when we die, we in the sky, man, the victory is won. Feeling neglected. Like why won't people get the message? Do they even understand it at all? My God, my God. I know it's getting hard to reflect this. Image I was made in, gotta keep praying through the storm. Uh, yeah. Lord, come quickly, get me out this mess. I must confess, the stress can leave my mind vexed. But you propose I'm capable to handle any weather. And find my work, the satisfaction up in the text. I'm running to that secret place so I can vibe with you. Walk with me along the way and give me clear vision. I'm trying to do my best to focus on the given mission. And remind myself every day, your grace is sufficient. Your grace is sufficient. Talk about sufficient, I'll be the one to admit it. Ain't never had the struggle, ain't seen a crumb in the kitchen. I never had to tussle with government officials of how my family is skipping meals just to pay tuition. The sinner got you trapped, my God, they say you had to have it. You chose to add the sin and that's the problem, mathematics. You can never want what you never had in that tragic that moment. You wish you had it back, no, homie, that's plastic. It was fake and fabricated, my God, is realer than valid. Way before creation, bet the bank on him and cash. You think the lotto's cake, imagine riches everlasting. Then multiply them riches, man, professing need just practice like my God is greater than a sideways V plus a sideways eight. I'm doing numbers with them symbols, call that sign language. I mean, sign language. God assist me with my flow like 80 folks. Stop it. Let's go.
You and praise. Oh, you are God. 